What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I made over $14,000 in revenue from one single Facebook CBO. Now I'm going to be showing you what allowed me to make that much money and why I think I could have made a lot more if I had done things differently. Let's get into the video. So this was basically the first high budget CBO that I tested and as you can tell by the title it did fairly well but there were a lot of things that I learned from it and a lot of things that I'm going to be doing differently in the future so let's hop right into my ads manager and talk about those. So just a little bit about the CBO in general it started out at $150 a day launched March 30th and basically I was just doing website conversion lookalike audiences. So I basically have like an 18 to 28 um, age demographic for this product and what I did was I split that up by 18 to 24 and 24 through 28 which in my opinion it helped give me more reliable and more consistent results. So just to like go over the campaign in general I launched it March 30th as I said and it is still going to this day but as you can see there's only two ad sets that I'm currently running. So my total as of today is $14,143 with a return on ad spend of 2.48. So obviously not that great. Uh, the return on ad spend dipped a bunch. So going back to March 30th, which is when I launched it, it started out at a 4.27 return on ad spend. So the big reason my return on ad spend dipped over like a month and a half or whatever was because the ad got saturated, not the audience. I'm still running the audience with plenty of other campaigns and ad sets and stuff, but the ad really just got seen too many times by the audiences because look like audiences are really not that big. I mean, even four or 5%, whatever the max I have in this campaign, that's not above 5 million people. So basically what I started to do when the return on ad spend was raising for this campaign was I started to add more ads. So as you can see here, it has like an M and that's just to tell me that I added a different ad. But what I would do instead of just replacing the ad like I did in this campaign is I would add two ads for each ad set, maybe even three, which is what I'm testing right now. And really that just seems to get you a lot more consistent results because people aren't getting shown the same ad again and again and again, which can really decrease its effectiveness. So since this successful high budget CBO, I've really been testing a lot more CBOs with a higher budget. And that's just seemed to give me a lot better results. And I think CBOs are specifically designed by Facebook for you to spend more money. Because the thing is, um, when you run a low budget CBO, there's ad sets that just get forgotten. Like Facebook spends like $2 on them and completely forgets them. And obviously that can be really detrimental to your campaign. So what I would do personally and what I do right now is I test ad sets with an ad set budget. So for me personally, that's $8 a day. And if it's doing good on $8 a day, then I'll duplicate it and probably have like three to five ad sets in one campaign for a CBO, and then I'll start to scale it. And basically how I scale it budget-wise is I start out at five times your CPR times your ad set. So basically what that means is if you target CPR, which is cost per result, so someone buying something from your website, if you want that to be about $5, then you should set your ad set budget, sorry, your campaign budget, to be five times that per ad set you have running. So if you have four ad sets and you wanna target CPR of $5 each, then you need to have a $100 a day budget. I really hope that makes sense, but it's actually not that complicated. Another thing I learned with this CBO is that you have to be quick to kill ad sets that aren't doing well. So when my return on ad spend started to increase, probably around here, we'll see, um yeah so a 2.5 return on ad spend so i obviously dropped a bunch so i really just thought that my campaigns would continue to like optimize or whatever and i was just having a bad day or a bad week not really sure why i thought that but i wish that i didn't because when stuff isn't working then you need to change it immediately facebook doesn't really make mistakes as far as high budgets go so 
when a campaign is doing bad for like two days in a row you really need to change something major another thing i learned is that you really have to be conscious of buying habits of customers so for me personally every single week consistently i have a bad day on monday but for some reason on april 8th which is a monday i decided to scale my campaign so as you can see here on april 7th it's a sunday and i had a 3.83 return on ad spend I increased the budget and then I had a 1.6 return on ad spend. So I wasn't even profitable the day after I scaled my campaign. So you really need to know your store. And if you know that say weekends do better, then maybe you want to scale on like a Friday. But if you know that like Wednesdays do bad for you or for me personally, Mondays do bad for me, then you may want to descale a little bit or at least not scale at all before those days. So another thing that I learned from the CBO is that there's a point where you should just keep the budget lower and not scale. So I feel like every campaign, every CBO, every ad set, everything has a limit when it comes to Facebook. So you could be running a $300 a day CBO and make $900 a day out of it. So that's $600 in profit. Or you could be running a $200 CBO and make $800 out of it. So that's again, $600 in profit. But when it comes to the money that you actually take home with you, then a $200 CBO in that scenario is going to be more profitable. I really hope that makes sense, but basically just find out where your CBO peaks and don't scale it past that peak because obviously you're gonna make more money if you don't. Okay, so the last thing that I learned from this CBO is that it's, it's really different than um, ad set scaling because with ad set scaling, you're more focused on the budget, but with CBOs, it's incredibly easy to you know increase the budget in order to scale your campaign however with cbos you do need to do more work when it comes to switching out audiences and really finding out what's working and replacing what's not working like i said you have to be extremely quick and if something isn't working for like two or three days straight then you need to replace it whether that means adding a new ad adding a new ad set or changing your cover for your video it's really up to you, but you need to keep changing aspects of your campaign in order to keep your return on ad spend steady. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to keep learning about CBOs and keep testing them and obviously just find out what works best. And I'm excited to share that with you. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.